Hey guys, what's going on? It's Casey with Rewire Realty and I am the Hungry Realtor. So glad y'all are joining me tonight. I have a really good full meal for y'all. Um, so we're gonna make three different things. Um, we got hamburger steaks, we have fried cabbage, and we're also gonna do um, roasted potatoes, but in the Instant Pot. So, um, I'm gonna share the video on, or onto, Noah's page because um, so I can read your comments because if not then I won't be able to hey Jamie how are you doing um, so uh, this week we're gonna do it a little bit different for anybody watching we are going to, for anybody who shares the video and um, comments below and then will be entered in the drawing and if you tag three of your friends you'll be entered in the drawing for next week two times so right now I'm just trying to find my live video on my computer from Noah so I can read your comments so I don't have to be like in your face like this because that's rude. Let me see. It might not work because my internet's really shoddy here. Here in good old Quinlan, Texas, the internet is uh, it's the best, isn't it? Okay, so we might not just have it. So I might just have to get up close and personal with y'all tonight because it's not, it's not working. So whatever. Um, okay, so first thing we're going to do is... I thought I would show y'all because I don't really know if anybody else notice, notices this or not. But if you buy the big roll of hamburger meat, it's five pounds. And there's these lines on here to tell you where there is a quarter pound on there. Like, so each one is a quarter pound. So if you're wanting to separate these and use multiple ones, hey Stephanie, um, then you can use, then you can do it this way and you just cut at the lines. So um, on this recipe, I'm gonna use two pounds. Um, so maybe I might I might have some leftovers tomorrow, who knows. So I'm gonna go on to the eighth one, which is a little bit less than half. Ooh, that was gross, I should've got a cutting board. Ooh, hold on. All right, so see what I'm trying to show y'all things and then I'm like not used to doing that, so that's cool. Okay, we'll do it right here. It'll be fine. All right, so is everybody having a good day so far? I was supposed to have a guest tonight, but there was some miscommunication and she was not able to make it. And then Brooklyn volunteered to be my assistant and then she went upstairs, cause she's rude. Uh, Michaela wants to be my assistant now, so we'll let, we might let her do it. Okay, Michaela, you can be my assistant. Yeah. She's so excited, guys. She's been wanting to come on my cooking show. And so, we'll tell everybody hi. Hi, guys. She's going to be a natural at this. She might take all my viewers. All right. Will you get a, t a paper towel and let's clean up this mess right here that I just made? Yes. Okay. Thank you. All right. You're a lovely assistant. So, um, I'm going to show you all the ingredients really quick. And then we'll get the hamburger steak started and then we'll move on to the potatoes. The potatoes are only supposed to start, take about 10 minutes in the Instant Pot. So um, hopefully that it actually works because um, otherwise I might take an hour. Yes, Uncle Billy, I'm cooking for you. I'm always cooking. You're always invited. <laughs> All right, let's see. Um, okay, so we got two pounds of hamburger meat. We have liquid smoke. We have Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire. Do you say Worcestershire, Worcestershire or Worcestershire? Worcestershire? I say Worcestershire, but not, everybody says it different, and people will literally argue with you that you're saying it wrong. I also have some A1. I'm going to use that in there. I don't like A1 on my steak, but I do like it like in my hamburger steak. I don't know. I'm weird. So, um, mushroom steak sauce. There is actually, it's not like whole mushrooms. This is, it's almost like a brown gravy. So, um, I like to use this instead of making my own. You can also make your own if you like. Um, all right, so then we got garlic. I have onions. I'm gonna use these in the potatoes as well. And then, um, Ooh, good. oh yeah, I bought this. I thought it was so cool from Brookshire's today. It says 903. I'm gonna put this in there and see how it tastes. Um, it, it, it was just funny to me because 903 is the area code here. So it's got nine peppers and three salts. So we'll try it out. Awesome. Um, okay, so we, oh, you probably can't reach those breadcrumbs. I can. I got it. All right. So no, can you get me a skillet? Oh, get an iron skillet. We'll put 
this in an iron skillet. Stephanie says, Are they over here? I forgot. You know. What? Okay. I, I don't know. Um, okay. So, I'm... What's an iron skillet? It's in the oven, sweetheart. The ones that are in the oven. <laughs> so, normally I make this in an electric skillet. So, that way I have more room to do multiple things at one time. One? Get the bigger one. There's a bigger one on the... On the... Um, Underneath the small one right there. This one? Yeah. So, um, luckily I have an assistant tonight. Oh. I, if it was just, if, originally if it was just going to be me, then I would have, oh, is this working now? Then I would have not made three items, but that's okay. All right. So, um, before we get started, I'll go ahead and do the drawing for next week. Um, this is for the $30 Visa gift card. Um, from last week's show. Thank you everybody for your love and support. I appreciate you. Um, so, let's see. Do, do, do. Alright. Let's click on the Wheel of Names. Let's see who's going to win. this week um, just share the video and then um, comment below if you want to be enter entered and then tag three friends if you want to be entered two times so oh crap Oopsies. all right so I got my two pounds of hamburger meat and I am going to add some of this oh this smells good definitely smells good I haven't tried it yet but in the future they said they were gonna put smell revision on cameras oh they are so if you want to them to smell something, you can. Hmm. It's cool. Michaela says in the future that they're going to have what? Oh, smell of Awesome. That's going to be great. I hope they do. Then I don't know because it might make me hungry too. Who knows? <laughs> All right. So I just poured some of that in there. I don't know. Probably a couple tablespoons. <laughs> All right. And then um, same thing on the... A1, I don't put a lot because this is pretty strong like tasting on the A1. I just put a little bit in there. Probably a couple tablespoons too. Yeah, you won. You won the drawing. Stephanie, you won. All right, so then um, liquid smoke. Just like a few, three or four dashes on that. And I will be trying to um, put, I'll be trying to, um, put the recipe as close as possible on my website like I have been doing the last few weeks. Um, all right, and then so Worcestershire sauce going in. This will be a guesstimate though, honestly. So sorry guys, it won't be as accurate as the last ones, but that's okay, it'll still be good as long as you get the key ingredients in there. All right, then I have some diced onions. Um, this is actually two whole onions, but I'm not gonna put all of them in there. You wanna smell these? You wanna, you wanna, I'll give you a dollar if you eat one. You gotta swallow it, no spitting it out. I just want the money. Eat it. This is <coughs> Eat it on camera. Okay. Let's see her face. Let's Yeah. I don't like onions. <laughs> I know you don't. That's why. Okay, give me a dollar. No, well I don't I'll give it to you after the show. Okay. Alright. Actually, you can go ask Noah, see if he has a dollar to give you. I need a wallet. Water. Okay, so um, it's probably going to be like one uh, onion whenever I put all of this in, in there. Um, just diced up. I try to make them pretty small so that way the kids don't complain very much. But um, they're probably going to anyways. They normally do. So, um, what else was I doing? Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, I need breadcrumbs. Okay, breadcrumbs. And um, the reason that you do the breadcrumbs is to... Not only hold it together, but um, it soaks up some of the grease on there. He said no. He said he's not going to give you a dollar? No. So this is probably about half a cup. Half a cup of breadcrumbs. And then um, a secret <coughs> to keep it moist, will you hand me the milk? No. You just put a couple drops of milk in there and yeah, yeah. The, it. I don't know what it does. No, I saw I it on a cooking show a long time ago. Regular. 
um, and it just makes it so moist. It's kind of weird. Okay, so we're gonna put just like, not, not a lot, just like really just a couple of tablespoons. And then we're gonna like stick our hands in here. So if you have gloves, you can wear them, but you have to mix everything up well or it's gonna be weird. Wash your hands and, and you can do it. Michaela's gonna do that. She's gonna volunteer to do that. I like it. Okay, so while she's doing that, we will go ahead and get the potatoes ready to go. Um, so these are super simple as well. And then we're gonna put them in the Instant Pot and see if they really only take 10 minutes. So I have probably two and a half pounds of red potatoes and I quartered them. It doesn't really matter. Like, these are kind of big, so some of them, some were bigger than others, so I had to cut those into like six different ones. Uh, yeah, go ahead. All right, so Michaela's gonna mix that in all good for us. And that's good because then I don't have to um, get my hands nasty. So um, I'm just gonna pour some olive oil into there. And then you're just gonna wanna coat the potatoes. I'm gonna use um, some saltgrass seven spice cause that's my jam and some parsley flakes. Um, I also have some bell peppers I'm gonna put in there and you don't have to put those. I just had some left over from this past weekend, um, our ladies night uh, from our church. So I'm, I'm just gonna use the rest of them and put them in there. I'm a volunteer. All right, all right, how's that looking? Okay. Good. Mix it up a little bit more. You, there's, you can still see a little bit of liquid and some onions in the bottom that are not mixed. I'm trying to get that, my hands are Okay. Good. So you're just gonna put that stuff in there. I put saltgrass seven seasoning, parsley. You can use whatever seasoning that you want though. That's, you know, as long as you're just putting the olive oil in there and then you just toss it around in a bowl if you had a if i had a freezer bag i would probably do it in there that way i could throw it away but hey you just use what you got whenever you can you know I can. Come on. so and then also um later on i um i'm going to show you guys the drain weasel so i don't know if you've seen them at like home depot they also sell them on amazon but they're supposed to be like an instant um hair clog tool they're supposed to like get it i don't know um so we're gonna test that out in our bathroom here in a little bit we have four girls in the house well including me four but this is it right here it's called the drain weasel so i've seen is this it good, Mama? and i wanted to try it so i'll let you guys is this good? yeah that's perfect so Can now I wash my hands? yeah okay so this is what the potatoes looks like before i put them in the instant pot and um so We'll turn it on. I would assume we set it to high. Yeah. So, okay. Let's see. What do you think this would go on? I think it would go like on. I think it's meat. Can you just put it on time? Oh, look, here we go. Okay, so we're gonna put it in there for 10 minutes and then we'll check and see how it goes. Hopefully it only takes 10 minutes and not the full hour like it normally would in the oven to do that. All right, so I got my pan. I'm using a cast iron skillet because if, um, if it's not done all the way yet, then I can transfer it into the oven. You can use whatever kind of skillet that you would like. Um, and, oh, I forgot, I forgot to put the bell peppers in. No. Dang, okay, we'll just throw those in there. Hopefully they'll turn out pretty good. I am trying to get used to using that thing, but I'm so used to cooking that my on my own that I just don't really actually use it as much other than like for meal prep. So we are going to now make some patties. And hopefully everyone knows how to make a hamburger patty, but if you don't, Me too. you just do like this. And I'm probably going to be able to get six out of these um, two pounds. I could probably do a little bit more if I wanted. And uh, so if you're just tuning in, we're doing hamburger steaks. I put some breadcrumbs and some onions and seasoning, liquid smoke, Worcestershire sauce. Um, what else? Uh, did you 
say mushroom steak sauce? That doesn't, that's not in there yet. Oh. And then I have my lovely assistant, Michaela, here Hi with guys. me as well. Ah. So, we might need to use two skillets. Maybe okay. I make too many. No, that's okay. We'll just do multiple. All right. And then um, I like to use a mushroom steak sauce, which is super easy for like the gravy part. Yeah, go ahead and grab another one out. So we're just gonna do this in two pans because it's not very big. Hey Brody, how are you? Thank you for tuning in. Appreciate you. Um, the, the, the one on the top. Yeah, that's fine. So, um, is, is everybody having a good week so far? It's like middle of the week, so I feel like most of y'all are probably like either ready for Friday or. Oh, I'm um, not ready. I want to go to school. She wants to go to school. See, I did not want to go to school when I was her age. Okay, let's put that one right here. Yeah. Um, go, will you turn the oven on to like 300? So I just am going to um, like sear these on each side bake? and then I'm going to just stick them in the oven for a little bit. You with, want to bake, Mommy? Yeah, bake. So we'll just do ah. this. Do it, yeah, Mommy. I'm sorry. Kayla, do you have any tips for anyone? Go to school. Her tip is to go to school. That's a good tip. I like school. Yeah, it's a really good tip. My favorite subject is math. Your favorite favorite subject is math? Yeah. What's your favorite math problem? Uh, multiplication. Oh, multiplication. Do, have you done fractions yet? Yes. You have done fractions. Awesome. Do you multiply them? Yes, and adding them. And adding them. Nice. I wasn't very good at fractions, really. I was really good. You were? Okay. But now I have a hundred in the class. Ooh, good grades are good. Do you There's guys reward moment. your kids for um, getting good grades or no? There's I'm just a wondering. In there. If you're just tuning in, you can always go back and watch the beginning of the video later on. Um, but we are making hamburger steaks. They're already going. And then we have the potatoes in the Instant Pot. It says they only take okay. 10 minutes, so we're going to try that out. <laughs> Brody said, what's up, Kayla? Um, also, whenever I transfer these into the oven, I'm going to do a uh, fried cabbage for yes, you guys. I love fried cabbage. She loves cabbage. Isn't that nice? Um, so but one I of the reasons like that I allow my kids stuff. to come in the kitchen and help cook is because one day they might have to cook for me and I don't want to eat food that is not good. So Like macaroni and cheese. Macaroni and cheese is good, but you don't want to eat it all the time, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, that's why I, I, I love them. I like eggs. See, she knows how to cook eggs. What else can you cook? Um, <laughs> um I think I know how to cook corn. Like canned corn? Yeah. Canned corn. Awesome. So, um, good. all right. So these are just, I'm just browning them on each side and then I'm gonna trans, and then I'm just gonna transfer them to the oven. So I'm just waiting on this side to brown and I'm getting this pan over here hot so I can do both of them at once. You don't have to use two separate pans. If I would have thought about it and I would have just put it in my electric skillet. Um, but since I'm always trying to be closer to the stove so that y'all can see me, cause I mean, I know everybody wants to see me, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So um, then, I did not do it in there, and I should, like, now that I'm thinking about it, I could have saved a couple of dishes there. So, yeah, oh, awesome. Mandy just jumped on. Hey, Mandy, how are you doing? Oh. What does Brody say? Can you read that? No. Go, go around and see if you can read it to me, since the computer's not working properly. Don't move the camera. It says, awesome, it's cool, y'all. Our famous LOL sure looks good. Missing, miss hanging out. Tell everyone I said hi and then PS. And what? And then PH and it said dot dot dot. Okay. All right. So, all right. Now that the hamburger meat is in, I'm going to wash my hands. My, my side Everybody should wash 
her hand. Oh, I'm ready to wash my hands. Mom, my hands look red. Did you wash your hands after you put them in the hamburger meat, though? Yes. Okay, cool. All right. So, these are pretty brown now. So, I am going to drain some of the grease off of them just a little bit. Because the grease does give it flavor. Who else puts their grease in, like, weird olive jars or pickle jars? Anybody? Yeah. I do. It's, I mean, it's just a use for the thing. You don't want to put it down the drain. This looks like it's kind blood. of bad for the environment. This looks like blood. It does. That's gross. Well, you weren't supposed to pull that up like that. Tell everyone that. That's well, gross. I can't see it. It's okay. I overheard, and number one tip, <laughs> the environment is very important. But the number one reason you don't put grease down the drain is because it clogs your drain. Mm. Hi, Noah. Thank you for that tip, Noah. We appreciate that. Oh. Can I get some in there? Okay. So, then I'm just going to take this mushroom steak sauce. I'm going to put it on like there. This stuff, it, you, there's not really mushrooms in it, and you okay. eat this every single time. I do. Yeah. Until we do. Oh, so I'm going to put this definitely. in there and then I'm going to transfer it over into the oven. So that way it doesn't, it looks kind of gross when you're putting it in there, but it does thin out. Yeah. And uh, it's actually really delicious and much easier. What I always say, a lot of stuff looks like doggy doo doo. <laughs> My kid, everyone, a lot of stuff looks like doggy doo doo. No, doggy! Donkey. donkey. Oh, Ew. not even doggy. Okay, cool. Donkey baby. Okay, so I'm gonna. I'm actually going. Mama, what about these? I'm, I'm, I'm getting there. Oh, I thought you forgot all that. They're not actually ready yet. So I'm gonna put these up here for a second and wait for these to get done. I'm gonna just move this over here, and then we'll start the cabbage here in a second. Here we go. Help? You do need to come over for some lessons. Yes, that would be awesome, oh. Angela. Oh. I'm right down the road from you, I think. If she, do you live where um, Chris's shop is? Because I see that, I see his shop whenever I go to my sister's house. So, um, then I'm not too far from you, if so. Oh, hey, Shannon, how are you? Hey, Shannon's watching. Oh. Yeah, say hi. So, is there anything that you want to learn how to cook, Michaela? Uh, not today, of course, but. Yeah, not today. Um. What are some Ken friendly recipes that other people's kids would like to eat? Hold on. Man, you're taking too long. I got a think. You caught a think in the road. Kimsey has a suggestion for you. What? I'm gonna call you over there. Oh, Nana's on. Hey, mom. So, making hamburger steaks here if you oh, care. I got it! I got it! Homemade mac and cheese. Homemade mac and cheese. Okay, that's a good one. That's good. I like homemade mac and cheese. It's the best kind, really. And her broccoli and cheese macaroni. I made that? Yeah, I'm gonna leave it little. Oh, I guess I made that when they were little. Who knows? All right, so if you're just tuning in to be entered into next week's drawing for the $25 Amazon gift card, all you have to do is share the video and, um, what was the other one? Comment below. Tag three and, and if you want to be entered two times in the, in the drawing, you just tag three friends. So it's not hard, um, and you can win 25 bucks. It only takes a few minutes. Ooh, I'm so, um, also if you want to put in there something like, Casey Snyder is the best real estate agent that I know. Oh, yes, like you can do that as well. Um, it, you know, it's all it's all up to you. Whatever you want to do, um, I'll take I'll take it. All right. So if you if you're tuning in to see how I'm making the hamburger steaks, like I've already went through all that, but I can I can show y'all. I put salt, grass, seven spice in there. Liquid smoke, since we're waiting. Um, then I put Worcestershire sauce. And, oh, I put, oh, I didn't put salt grass. Sorry, I didn't put that in there. I put 903 in there. 903 represent, you know, East Texas people. <laughs> was that, was that stupid? No. No, was it funny? Yeah. 
At least she thinks I'm funny. <laughs> All right. Remember when I scared you? You scared me? Yeah, I was like, I was like in a corner. You're, you went to go grab your jacket. Oh yeah, I do remember that. You were scared at she me. She scared me. I almost pooped my pants, guys. <laughs> She scared me like we were getting ready to leave for school and she was just hiding in the corner. corner over there and I went to grab my jacket and she's like, what'd you do? I, I was just scared. Oh, she was just standing thing. there. She didn't even do anything. I was just like freaking out. It was she crazy. Went. It was so crazy. What are you doing? Yeah. I, I, I almost, like, I'm not kidding. I almost took my pants. <laughs> All right. I was just scared. Okay. So these are brown enough for me. I'm gonna move them over into this skillet. You turned the oven on, right? Yeah. And so that way I don't have to have two different pans. What's this stuff? It's gonna like cram these in there. Thank you, it. I don't know what I'm doing. And okay. And then the easy part Can is the. Off, Hold on one second. No, because I'm gonna use it again. All right, so, oh, careful. The easy part is this, is the secret to making it good and easy with the mushroom thick sauce. And it's, it's super cheap too, it's only like 99 cents for a can. A dollar. You can, make, you can make your own if you want, but, oh man. Oh my gosh. I might be making my own here in a second, actually. Okay, let's see if I can open this, this with this. Mama, okay, you can totally, it the wrong way? It's all right. <laughs> she learned a new way. Yeah, I've, 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 this is the way I've been doing it my entire life. So, um, the, the video, there's a video out circulating that shows you opening a can a different way. So I'm just gonna pour this on top, and then I'm gonna just stick it in the oven and let it, the hamburger steaks finish cooking. That's so good. this is what it looks like before. It looks kind of gross because of the, the salt, like the gravy is not hot. But it'll it'll all look good here in a minute. Nope. Okay. In the oven we get. How much more time do the potatoes have? One minute. One I just minute. said that to all the people. Oh. Okay, so the potatoes say they have one more minute. We'll see how that turns out. We'll do the fried cabbage. That only takes a few minutes. Yeah. So we just need a big enough pan. I'm just gonna do this in the wok because I know that I'll make a mess if I don't, so. All right. So you're gonna wanna put it on like medium high, seven or eight, maybe nine even. And then I put a little bit of olive oil in there, but y'all know how I love bacon too. So this is like four slices like bacon. of bacon. Yeah, but you like cabbage. I know. What kind of weird kid is this? She doesn't like bacon. I just, I think the, the only animal that doesn't deserve to die is pig. The only animal that doesn't deserve to die. But you like pork chops, right? Yeah. I and you like ham? I want to go pig free. You want to go pig free? What yeah. about ham? That's honey ham. Ham? Nuh uh. Honey ham has honey inside it. It, it also has pig inside it. <laughs> kid logic, guys. It's kid logic. All right. So we'll put the bacon in. That's the only meat I'll eat. I'm gonna throw some onions in here. That's the only meat you'll eat. What about turkey? We got people coming in and, and going. They're coming and going, so that's okay though. They, if you miss, if you missed the beginning of the video, you can always go back and watch it. I'll also post the recipes to my website uh, tomorrow morning, and then I'll post that down in the comments. So, all right, let's see. Got some bacon and onions going. That's like the best smell in the world. Like, I wish you guys could smell it. Just, just smell, smell it. The just smell it, guys. Okay, looks like they're going to invent smell of vision soon. So, hopefully it's that's true. You know it's 2050. Uh, uh, chocolate's going to go extinct. That's not true. Chocolate can't go extinct. Yes, All right. Is. Garlic it's going in. Cutting down the forest as we grow it. Oh, really? Okay. Chocolate's gonna go extinct, apparently. I learned that from last year. All right. So, bacon, onions, and garlic. We're just gonna get the bacon just cooked up a little bit. Um, 
and then I'll throw in um, the cabbage and get that going around. David said you're inviting the wrong people to eat. He likes bacon. I like bacon too. I think I think everybody yeah, should like bacon. David. Yes. Oh hi, David. I love bacon too. It's like the best thing, like one of the best things in the world. But I, I mean, this but kid he here. Talks about me. And Brooklyn told me she didn't like bacon the other day. No, no, that, she just wants to copy me because last time we had bacon, she ate it. Hmm. Okay. All right. Then I am going to put a little bit of salt grass seven spice in here. And I like to season this stuff like while it's cooking because if you don't, then you're going to miss some of those flavors that are in there. All right. What does that smell like? It smells like onion. Like onion? And a little hay All right. And then like I'm going to put like half of a tablespoon of chicken bouillon in there. And that's just going to be to kind of give the cabbage a little bit of different flavor. You can that leave it out. Like I used to use, um, I used to just or put chicken stock in there. Actually, I was going to and I'm just out. So this, this is just going to work. Um, this is pretty much the same thing. It's just more concentrated. So a little bit goes a long way. One teaspoon equals like a quarter of what you would put in. Uh, one teaspoon equals, you put it in eight ounces of boiling water. So that's like an eighth of a gallon, right? Yeah. You're the math expert. Okay. So then I'm just gonna throw the cabbage in there. Yay, cabbage! And then mix it up. Is that the heart? The heart? Yeah, I don't know what What called. heart? The middle Your heart's right here. No, the middle of the cabbage. The middle of the cabbage? Oh yes. Yes, it, yes, it probably was. Oh, Alright. So I know my heart is right here, but what about right? Alright, let's see. Should we release the Likes me, so whatever. Stupid instant pot. Nothing stupid. Nothing is stupid. Now you gotta say something good about it. About the instant pot? Yeah. I love you, instant pot. That's what I've been doing to the kids. I've been, if they say something bad about themselves, I make them say something good about themselves too. So that just backfired on me. <laughs> Funny. All right. You want to okay. get me just a tiny bit of water from the sink? In a in cup? A, yeah, in a cup, obviously. You can't carry the sink over, right? <laughs> oh, is that good? All right. So, I wish I could carry water. That would be nice. That would be nice if you could carry water. I got max to get you a bucket. All right. So. Is this good enough? Yeah, that's good. We just need a little bit because it's kind of sticking to the bottom. Woo! All right. There we go. I'm gonna try these potatoes again since they didn't, that didn't work out. So yeah, obviously it takes longer than 10 minutes. That, that website that I looked on earlier is a lie. They normally take an hour, so if they get done in 20 minutes, I'll be happy with that too. I like to All right. So, here, can you throw this stuff in the trash? Yes. And that? All right. Oh, well, I guess while this is finishing up, Michaela, I just need you to stay right here. I'm going to take the camera and then show you guys this drain weasel thing. So, um, it comes in, and so I can do that while you're finishing up. I just need you to stir this every now and then, okay? All right. So, stir it like this, like from the bottom, and then come up and around. All right? Yeah. Don't let it burn. Okay. 
I'll try not. Okay. So it comes in two pieces and you just stick this thing together. I think that's how it works. And then this slides up. So the, the thing is supposed to, um, you're actually supposed to be able to stick this in the drain, turn it like this, pull the hair out, and then throw this baby in the trash instead of touching it. So we'll take the camera. Kenzie, can you bring, can you bring this in there for me and, and record me cleaning hair out of the um, drain, please? Okay. Wait, you gotta, first of all, hold it like this. Okay. All right. Okay, well, all right. <laughs> it's dark. So, um, here, let's turn a light on so it doesn't look we're creepy. <laughs> all right, so we'll go in this bathroom because I actually get ready in here. And so my hair is normally in the sink. Pretty, pretty good here. All right, so let's see. I think you got to take this, obviously you got to take this thing out. All right. Oh yeah, there's there's definitely gonna be some hair in there. There's already hair right there. So, and this one's actually been draining pretty slow, so I'm sure there is Mama. a lot of hair in there. So you just take it, Mommy. and you do like this. Ew, you can like see it. You can actually like see it going um, around the thing. What? I feel like I'm on a YouTube channel and I'm one of the recorders. Oh, you're one of the recorders for the YouTube channel? Ew! Hold on, let's see what else, let's see what else we can get in there. This is kind of like deal or dud, right? So this is, I think this is genius because I don't like putting my hands in there and getting the hair out. And Noah always makes me do it. So let's try this, try this thing That's out. Nasty, Mom. Oh, you can really get in there with that. Ooh. All right. So let's just give it some more turns and then let's see. I'm doing a drawing of a puppy, so... You are? Yeah. All right. Ew! So this is what we got out. It's pretty gross. That's I mean... nasty. And then, um, I, I guess I thought it was going to be more than that, but, I mean, I guess it would be more if it was, like, the bathtub. So then you just pop this off and pull it out, and you just throw it in the trash. So then it's gone. That's pretty awesome. All right, I would say that that's worth like the five dollars that it was. I think it was like four seventy three or something at Home Depot. You can probably get it on Amazon. I think you can get them on Amazon and stuff too. Okay, okay thank you. Welcome. All right, let's go back to the kitchen. A long walk. I know. First world problems. Your house is so big, you have to walk. No, I didn't let it burn. Okay. Well, good news is Michaela did not let our um, cabbage burn either. So. She did burn a pancake on a stick one time, though. I cried. In the microwave. In the microwave. I cooked it, too. That was good stuff. That was good. She was freaking out. She's like, oh, my God, Mom. I burned it. You're going to kill me. <laughs> I said, I said, you're going to be so mad at me. Yeah. And, and Kaden. It's really not that big of a deal, though, you know, whenever people And whenever Gibby people was that. around. So, um, on the fried cabbage, you're really just waiting for it to kind of get... the only one awake. Get soft. So, it doesn't take oh, very long. Good. It's almost finished, um, actually. That tastes familiar. And then, let's like see. Chinese noodles. Chinese noodles. Well, they do put cabbage in Chinese noodles sometimes. Yummy. Like Panda Express noodles? So, sometimes you just want to, um, like, spread out this mushroom gravy sauce stuff, just spread it around like while it's cooking, because if not, it just kind of sits in the same spot. Sorry, you can't see me, but I'm only one person. Okay. Mama, you know what would be cool? So, Michaela, what grade are you in now? Four! So, do you have any tips for anybody else's kids that are going into fourth grade? Um, pay attention in class. It's a good one. Because today someone got in trouble for not paying attention. Oh, well, why weren't they paying attention? Look for windows. Look for windows? Well, Facebook for windows. Oh, whatever. Something about that. Okay, so um, still waiting on the potatoes. Those might be a little bit. and um, But everything else is, is pretty much done. So 
Instant Pot Potatoes, we just learned, take longer than 10 minutes. So... What if I have the power I, to speed up the heat? I don't have the power to speed up the heat, though. Oh, she's magic now. Look at her go. Um, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and jump off here. I'll post the recipes to the video... Or, to my website and I'll post a picture of the finished product once the potatoes get done. Um, I'll sh oh, I, I can go ahead and show you all the hamburger steaks. Let's show a picture of what they look like. Here, let me take one out. Do you want me to show the camera? Hold on, I'll do it. <laughs> so, all right, let's see what these look like ow that was dumb what? touching this oh don't touch that mommy no duh <laughs> all right so we used regular ground beef so they did shrink up quite a bit but you're gonna be amazing all right so that is what the hamburger steak looks like this is like the oldest plate i've ever seen Okay, and then the cabbage is done. Don't forget to share the video, comment below, and tag two friends to be entered in the video two times. Friends. Oh, three friends to be entered in the video two times instead of one. Um, I wish these potatoes were ready for y'all, but I'm not going to hold y'all up for another 12, 12 minutes, minutes while they are waiting to be done. So, um, Instant Pot 1, Casey... One. We're one and one at this point as good far as that, as, that, as that goes. So I hope everybody has a good night. Thank you guys for watching. Oh, um, and I will see y'all next week. Oh, oh and so just so you know, next week, um, in honor of the upcoming Super Bowl, um, we will I will have a friend on and we are actually just going to be um, <laughs> trying to build one of those Super Bowl stadiums out of food. So I'm super excited about that. Um, so you'll, you'll get a couple of different recipes. Um for your Super Bowl, Super Bowl party, and then um, we'll do the drawing for the Amazon gift card. Y'all have a good night. Thanks, guys.